This is insane what I have going on over here. I have a lot of empty um, packages, clamshells, whatever you want to call them, from Sensi. In case you didn't know, if you didn't glance at this channel before you started watching the video, I am a Sensi consultant and I am completely addicted to home fragrance. And I haven't done a video in a while with regards to my empties. And so this, I mean, this could border an hour. Oh, yeah. Grab a cocktail. Speaking of cocktail, I am rethinking my Friday fragrance and fire water theme. If that's gonna continue to go in and out of focus, it's gonna drive me crazy. I have to keep, try to keep my face in the middle of the frame. Anyway. I'm thinking about rethinking, I'm thinking about rethinking my Friday fragrance and fire water because Friday nights people are checked out. They are not watching YouTube. And so what I might do is I might broadcast it on Friday nights, but I might film it at another time because it doesn't seem worth it for me to go live, okay? If this is really going in and out of frame. I don't, are you seeing it? If you look up here and then all of a sudden it'll like just sort of like go in and out. Anyway. Um, and it seems to be when I look away and then I look back at the thing. Do you see it happening? Anyway, okay. Don't know what the future of Friday Fragrance and Fire Water is going to be exactly yet. I do know that I need to get this video done. So, I will start with the laundry and then we'll go to cleaning, products, body products, then pods, then wax, I guess. I got through a tub of jammy time. Jammy time is one of my favorite in the laundry line. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm not gonna go through the notes, okay? Because that will take this, well, should I? Okay, fine. Jammy time is described as baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. It's fantastic. It's a little too strong in a bedroom for me. Yes, you could use a half cube on the other side of the room, but if I'm gonna smell jammy time, I want it to kick me in the face, right? So jammy time in the laundry is fantastic. If you feel like the Scentsy laundry line is a little too expensive for everyday use, I would strongly suggest just doing the wash whiffs because I feel like the, you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to fragrance, okay? The wash whiffs are like a salt it's like Downy Unstoppables or something like that, but it's a little bit more in a raw state. Downy Unstoppables looks like candy. This is basically just a salt. It comes with a little scooper in there. You put one or two um, scoops in the bottom of the drum before you start the laundry. I have a front, front loader. I also use the laundry detergent, which I went through an entire windowsill breeze. I feel like these two can be combined, interchangeable, whatever. They do smell different but together they smelled nice too. Windowsill Breeze is described as clean breeze flutters through a crisp linen and blah, 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 blah. It's a linen fragrance. It's nicer than clothesline. If you've ever experienced clothesline from Scentsy, clothesline is very heavy. It's very strong. I've only warmed the wax, I think twice or three times, and it was too strong, gave me a headache. Now listen, if a, if a scent is too strong, just use less. And I get that, but I have warmers all over my house. And if I ever had a spare bar of clothesline laying around, I would use it, okay, if I needed it. If my husband cooks burgers or fish, I would use clothesline afterwards because that would clean it right up. If you feel like the laundry line in Scentsy is a little too extravagant, like if you're doing a lot of laundry all the time and you aren't a Scentsy consultant, so you aren't getting all of this shit at a discount, then I would understand maybe you wanted to use like Tide or something like that. But think about using this with your, like your intimates and stuff like that, or your linens. I still use this even though it's a little bit more expensive because first of all, you use less, it's concentrated. I use three pumps, three or four pumps, never five, okay? And my clothes are always very clean. Now I don't have anybody in my house who gets very dirty either. My husband doesn't work in a coal mine and my kids aren't out playing football. I have one kid that skates, he's a you know skateboarding person. And then the other kid is more of like a keyboard warrior and my husband produces movies. So, so it's not like anybody's getting like really dirty in my house. I mean, my husband goes to the gym, but this takes care of gym smell. So anyway. This lasts me forever, and I combined Jammy Time and Windowsill Breeze. Now, I had a free um, product that was available to me because I was closing out a party. 
So I got this for free. This is not something that I ever really buy because I have in the past and I have felt like it wasn't 100% necessary. This is called Scent Soft and it is a fabric softener. My fabrics are soft already. Uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't work. I'm saying that I don't need it, okay? My fabrics are soft already. I do use dryer discs. I don't have any dryer discs in my empties right now because they, they get lost before they make it to the empties bag. I don't know where, they're all under my couch and in my couch cushions, okay? Um, I don't have static in my laundry. Like my, I have three cats and a dog and I have long hair that falls out constantly, okay? You would think that I would have a problem with hair sticking to clothing and, and you know, um, stuff coming out of the dryer and like the socks are stuck to the sweatpants and all that kind of stuff. It just, for some reason in my house, with my dryer, I have zero static problems. So I literally, I got this, it was a waste of a free product because I felt like it didn't really do much. If you ever had to just freshen something up, I guess you could just put like four or five pumps of this into the washing machine without soap. Why would you do that? I don't know, whatever. Uh, it reminds me of the whole theory that I had a couple weeks ago about conditioning your hair and not washing your hair. That's what this would be, like if you didn't wanna wash your clothes and you just wanted them freshened up, I guess, but that's what Scentsy Fresh is for. Now listen, I don't have a, a, um, a container of that right here, but it looks exactly like this. <laughs> okay, this is counter clean. Scentsy Fresh is nice. I usually actually keep a Scentsy Fresh here next to my sink because if you've got dirty dishes in your dishwasher, but you're not ready to run the dishwasher yet, take the Scentsy Fresh and inside the dishwasher and you won't have like an odor the next time you open up your dishwasher. I do that whenever we're going away, specifically when we're going away. I run my goddamn dishwasher every single day. So I don't really need to do that. But when I'm going away, and I know the dishwasher might get a little funky inside. I spray it inside with a little bit of Scentsy Fresh. Mm. Listen, if it's good enough for clothing and it's good enough for sheets and drapes and rugs, it's not gonna do anything to the inside of your dishwasher. Scentsy doesn't condone it. I'm telling you that that's what I do, whatever. Okay, let's move on to cleaning products. I went through a Blue Grotto counter clean and I am still working through some of the products, some of the um, counter clean that I had purchased last year. Uh, we have this thing on the website called Bundle and Save. So if you need one thing, it's gonna be cheaper if you buy three things. It's gonna be even cheaper if you buy six things, you know, that kind of thing. Last year, they were having trouble finding nozzles. So I have, I still have like two or three counter cleans that didn't come with a nozzle, so I'm transferring the nozzle. This is the same nozzle that I've been using for like three or four counter cleans. I go through a counter clean like maybe every seven to 10 days. I use counter clean a lot. I have this one big counter that I probably use, like I spray it down, I load it down. Um, I probably do that four or five times a day. And then I also spray the inside of my sink and I scrub the inside of my sink. I have a black stove and I have white animals. I have a cat that's all white and I have a dog that's mostly white and the dog, holy shit, the shedding is crazy. So even if the dog never comes into the kitchen, there's just white hair on everything. So I end up uh, wiping down that stove very often. Like I said, I have three cats and they throw up all the fucking time. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, oh, oh no, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ew, 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 oh no, 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 oh, oh no, no, you're cute, you're cute, I, I, I don't want to pet you though. Uh, uh, oh, all right. Oh, 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 what are you gonna do? Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh no, okay. I have hardwood hardwood floors throughout my entire apartment, so I use the counter clean and paper towels. That's what I do. A lot of times I will add a little bit of bleach. I didn't have to this time around, although I just emptied it, it's like there. Um, if I start to feel like I need some bleach in there, I will do that. I have done that with the all-purpose counter, all-purpose cleaner also. I have that that you have to add water to and I add some bleach to that. So anyway, so I went through an entire uh, Blue Grotto, which is basically Lush Botanicals and Citrus kind of a thing. Um, Blue Grotto is fantastic. It smells, it's, it's very, very fresh. Uh, it, you know what, go look at the video that I did when I recreated Blue Grotto in a glass. That's what it smells like 
orangey liqueur, but fresh, very citrusy. Love it. Okay. Um, cleaning products. Is that it for cleaning products? No. Oh, God damn it. This was from Christmas time. I think I've said this in a video before. It takes me a really long time to get through dish soap because I have a dishwasher and I run the dishwasher at least once a day. Every once in a while, it's twice if everybody's home and eating every fucking meal from my kitchen. Uh, I will run the dishwasher at least once a day, sometimes twice. And that's why I don't really go through the dish soap all that much. We, I use more dish soap to wash my own hands in my kitchen than I do to actually wash dishes. I use it to wash my pots and my pans, my coffee machine, um, the cups that are like this. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Dwight, get out of my nook. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. This doesn't go into the dishwasher, right? So, and we go through a lot of these kind of waters, water bottles. So anyway, that's what I mainly use the dish soap for. This is in Perfect Peppermint. Loved this. Ugh, I absolutely loved this. I have one more in my stash. And I don't think it's going to go bad. So I'm waiting for next Christmas to break that out. Okay. I don't know if you would consider this a clean product, like in the cleaning line. This is definitely in the unplugged tab. If you go to metallicalmom.com and you look for the unplugged tab, that's what this is. Now, technically, this isn't empty. But I got this out because I'm just letting you know that I've gone through, since the last time I did an empties video, I've probably gone through about three or four of these. We go through quite a bit of room spray in my house because, again, I have three cats and a dog, okay? And I have two teenagers and a big hunky husband that goes to the gym every day okay so we keep these in strategic areas of the house one is in the car which i very rarely use because i'm going to show you what i use in my car one is next to the litter boxes in between the two litter boxes i have a little like a, like a little fancy garbage pail and that's where i keep the scooper and where i put the poo poos and the room spray the litter boxes get five or six room sprays then i scoop then I, again, don't judge me. My cats live forever. They won't die. Trust me. Um, they're absolutely fine. There's been no urinary tract problems. It doesn't cause the litter to clump up. It just helps with the aesthetic of the litter box, okay? Um, we also keep one in the bathroom. Obviously, if you spray this into the potty before you sit down and relax, it's the same as poo-pourri exact same thing as poopery and then also my husband keeps one next to his side of the bed because that's where his shoes are that like sort of slide underneath the bed he gives the inside of his shoes a spritz every once in a while and that's okay um would sensi suggest you do that probably not but it's just the inside of his shoes so even if it like discolors the fabric or something oh. That's okay. A lot of times we go through the fresher fragrances. I don't really reach for the bakery fragrances. Like you'll never see vanilla bean buttercream that is going to be sprayed in my bathroom or next to my litter box. No. This is Welcome Summer. Perfect. Went through an entire um, one of the Jade and Jasmine. Um, a lot of times it's the, the sense of the month. Welcome Summer was from last summer, I think. Anyway. So we're done with cleaning. Um, uh, we'll go to another unplugged. I didn't save the actual scent pack when I threw out the scent pack. Uh, this is a scent pack in Zen Garden. Now, uh, I, I, I've been fighting with the idea that I have too much stock in my house. Uh, as some of you know, about six or seven months ago, I lost my office. I had one of the rooms in my apartment was dedicated to be my office and my 14 year old asked if he could have his own room. And so because the two teenagers were sharing a room all this time, you know, since we moved into this apartment, I said, you know what, you have every right to have one of the three bedrooms because there's four of us here and you know, 14 year old boys need their privacy. So don't need to get into that. But, um, so I'm trying to get through some of my stock and I have quite a few scent packs from catalogs ago, you know, uh, campaigns that were over like two or three years ago. And this was a Zen garden scent pack. It's basically like a little cloth sack and it's got little scented beads inside. The best way to use a scent pack is either in a Scentsy Buddy, which is kind of like a stuffed animal, but with a little zipper pocket or in your like panty drawer up against something. 
It makes things smell good when they're resting up against it. I hung this in the vestibule of my walkway here. I share a vestibule with the upstairs neighbor. And so I like to have just a little bit of fragrance there. Sometimes I hang car bars, sometimes I hang scent circles. Scent circles are really the best thing, right? And so I said, let me just hang this. What a waste of goddamn time. Zen Garden as, as, in, as wax was very light. This was non-existent. So I had this and then I threw it in the garbage out of frustration. I also tried a circle of life scent pack and that was a total waste of time also. So I'm not going to be hanging scent packs in my vestibule anymore. It's probably, I'm probably just gonna stick with the scent circles because every week or two I swap them out because they get the door opens and shuts all the time. So it's not like a contained thing. If you took a car bar or even a scent pack, and hung it in a closet where there was no air movement. It would last a lot longer. But in my vestibule, my vestibule, the, the front door is open and closed to the outside, like probably 25 times a day, right? So I'm not doing scent packs there anymore. Speaking of car bars, this was hanging in my vestibule. Has absolutely no fragrance anymore. What's cool about the car bars is that it actually has the, um, the fragrance on the um, string. And this was Snowberry. And now you guys know that I love Snowberry. Uh, that was the fr uh, Friday Fragrance and Firewater from two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Um, this lost its scent really fast. I had two of these. I had one in my car and then one in my vestibule. Wasn't a good idea. Snowberry in wax, is it kicks ass, okay? Snowberry in the room spray kicks ass. But in the car bar, mm, not quite so much. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go on to body products. I went through a shimmer hand cream. This took me a very long time. It's all goopy, ugh. Um, I'm not gonna clean it off because it's about to go in the garbage. Uh, it took me a very long time to get through this because I keep it in my car. I always have a hand cream in my car. And I use the teeny tiniest little bit probably twice a week. So it takes a really long time to get through it. Now I eventually moved this into my bedroom and swapped out the one, this, for a, an Amazon rain that I have in my car right now. Because this w sat for so long that it was starting to not smell so great. I brought it into my bedroom because then I used it as body cream probably twice and that exhausted the whole kit and caboodle. It's completely empty now, okay? I feel like the hand cream and the body cream are kind of the same thing. So because these hand creams take me so long to get through, sometimes I swap it out for whatever I have going on in my bedroom just to get it over with. You can't buy these things three years in advance and think that they're gonna smell good. It just won't. Whatever the carrier is, it's not, it, it, it doesn't go rancid, well, it goes a little rancid. As a massage therapist, I'm very familiar with rancid oil fragrance. Unfortunately, you cannot cover that shit up with any amount of lemon or lavender essential oils. Rancid oils smell awful. And a lot of times it gets in the sheets. And if, as a massage therapist, if you have sheets for more than like a year or two, uh, you're probably not a very busy massage therapist because the oils get into the fibers of the, of the fabric and they just kind of stay there even if you're washing that shit every day. So anyway. Shimmer, when it's new and fabulous, is very, um, I'm not gonna look up the scent notes. Uh, it's very candy, very feminine, very uh, uh, perfumey, girly, okay? Very nice. I love it in the wax, but right now it's not available. And one more thing, I think, yeah. One more thing that isn't like home fragrance kind of a thing. Uh, is we went through an entire uh, bottle. Now, this is not the only one that I've gone through either, but I caught my husband throwing this out and then I took it out of the garbage and I said, no, I want to put that in my empties. And he said, are you really picking through your own garbage and then saving it? As if I'm on an episode of Hoarders. And I said, no, you don't understand. It's from a YouTube channel. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, shut up, just leave me alone. Best Bud Suds in uh, Sweet Pea and Holy Cow. Sweet pea and shea, not strong enough. Smelled nice and neutral, but I my dog is large and she gets a bath once a week because she goes out and she, she plays hard with other dogs. Like hard, a um, lot of mouthing and stuff like that. When my husband brings her to the dog park every day, unless it's raining. 
And even then sometimes he brings her to the dog park and she comes home and it's like, oh. Um, and there's puddles there, there's other dogs, there's a lot of wrestling that happens. It's a very tight knit community. She's vaccinated and all that, blah, blah, blah. So am I. Um, but anyway, she needs that bath once a week. I know some people think that the dogs don't need baths that often, but mine does. And um, it's also a good idea to do like a little head to toe massage during the bath to make sure that there's no ticks, no growths, no cysts, that kind of thing. And so we do go through quite a bit of the shampoo. Um, we don't use the detangling spray at all. I in fact use, tried to use the detangling spray on my hair that was a disaster. I'm never going to do that again. And then we also have the Freshen Up Pup, which is just the spray. We don't want to really go through that that much because she's not a stinky dog. She's just large, okay? Um, she's part Greyhound, part Borzoi. I don't know if you know what that is, but she's tall. She's lean. She's very fast. She's probably faster than your dog. My dog's faster than your dog. She's a runner. So anyway. All right. So I think we're going to move on to home fragrance in the air kind of a thing. And... We're gonna do pods and then we'll do wax. I've got a shit ton of pods here <sighs> because I found a stash in my car. I was cleaning my car, meaning getting rid of all the old masks and the straw wrappers and the gum wrappers and whatnot because like I said, two teenagers, they sit in the back seat and they're, they're like, you know, eating gourmet meals back there and shit. Anyway. Uh, I was cleaning out my car and I found a huge stash of exhausted pods that weren't really exhausted though. Uh, pods in the middle console and it turns out that my husband had been using the pods. Great. Wonderful. No resistance there. Okay, I just rambled on for ramble on. I just rambled on for about 10 minutes and I had not pressed the unpause button. Great. We're moving on to pods now. Okay, what are pods? Pods are these little things, okay? We have got a lot of different fragrances in pod form. And 30, 35, something like that? Anyway, something for everybody. There's little beads in here that are like inside this little cage thing, okay? And the beads in here are very similar to the ones that you would find in that scent pack that I was talking to you about that you put in your panty drawer. Anyway, so there's these little scented beads in here. And what you do is you put it next to a fan and then the air blows through the, the beads and then it fragrances your atmosphere. It's like a personal fragrancing system because listen, this is not going to fragrance an entire room, but it will fragrance your area, okay? So wherever you're sitting will smell fantastic. It's all about you. This is a very selfish little thing and it's perfect. Anyway, it does not have a battery. It has a USB, micro USB, okay? And each one comes with a USB, not that these are expensive. In fact, whenever somebody buys one of these, I always recommend that they buy another one that's a little bit longer. This one is what, a foot and a half long? Come on. <laughs> so, but it's because this thing is so little, you're supposed to, like the idea is that you sit it next to your computer or you sit it in the car or you sit it in the bathroom. You're not supposed to be running around with this thing in your hand, right? It's got a little fan in it. I like it in the car and I have marketed it as a scenting consultant. I have marketed it mostly to be in the car as a mask fragrancing system because you plug this in in your middle console every time you get out of the grocery store and you get into your car and you take that disgusting fucking wet mask off of your face, you throw it on, to, on top of this fan, throw it right on top of there with the little scent thing there and your mask smells fantastic every single time. If you get Just Breathe, which is a combination of like lemon and peppermint and eucalyptus, your mask is always gonna smell like you just made out with somebody who just brushed their teeth. Yeah, yeah. It's, we've got mocha doodle, we've got everything. We've got vanilla bean buttercream. In the winter time, we've got all kinds of pumpkin shit and spice and nutmeg and shit like that. I'm, not, I'm cursing too much. This is Amazon Rain. It's real light. It's not gonna scent the room, again. It's gonna scent your area. Okay, this comes in like five colors right now because we have in the Father's Day collection, we had some macho looking ones that were kind of like marbled and stuff like that. This is the blush, which is like pink. We also have green and white and black and all that kind of stuff, whatever you want it to be. And then we also have this goddamn thing. I'm, I'm cursing too much. This is the Scentsy Go Solid and I hate it. We have two types of Scentsy Go. One is the Scentsy Go Solid. 
The other is just the traditional Scentsy Go. Now, I love the Scentsy Go. My Scentsy Go, my original Scentsy Go from Reunion of 2017, Scentsy Family Reunion of 2017, everybody in the audience got one. They gave away like 3,000 Scentsy Goes that day. It was crazy. Um, that one had a light inside, cycled through seven different colors, two different fan speeds. It automatically shut off so it didn't run down the battery. It was fantastic. This is the cheaper version, which is called the Scentsy Go Solid. No light, no two different span, span feeds, fan speeds, and the battery runs out. So you have to shut it off. And that pisses me off because I, every time I use it, I run out the battery. Anyway, the original one that I had, the very first one, I left it in a hotel room in Barcelona about three years ago. And um, then the second one I had, that was a collector's edition that had a little purple thing on the top. That one I left at my kid's school. So then I had this one in my inventory. I already told, told this story. I had this one in my inventory. And so I said, you know what, I'll just use that. It's only $35 instead of 50. And I hate it. So whatever, I'm just gonna, I'll just keep using it until it dies. It won't die, whatever. They have a money back guarantee. They have a, a manufacturer's warranty. It's limited though. So let me know if you want, if you want to like me to look into that for you. Anyway. We also have the wall fan diffuser. I'll put a picture of it right here. I don't have one here with me. I have one in my car. I keep one in my car. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to link somewhere here, I think. I'm gonna link the video of me showing you the wall fan diffuser in my car and how I use it in my car, okay? I use it every time I get in my car, if I remember. And my husband isn't in the back seat because then he gets crazy. Like I said, resistance, anyway. Those are the three ways that we use these pods. Now I'm gonna to start to talk to you about the pods that I've already used up. And it's a lot. I didn't realize it was so much. Anyway, Amazon Rain. Coconut milk, jasmine, beautiful. Amazon Rain is fantastic. Now, this, this clamshell doesn't smell like anything because it's not like the wax clamshells that the wax actually touched. See that? It's not like that. This doesn't really smell like anything. But if you have clamshells that you feel like are exhausted, you can put them in here and you can leave them in here for a couple days and they might reignite some fragrance. Don't quote me on that. I don't really know if that's gonna work. I never I never did it. I get the shit for free, like all the time. So anyway, um, let me see. I have, I don't know where the other one is. I think the other one is in the bottom of my purse of Amazon Rain. I love Amazon Rain in the pods. Absolutely love it. Actually, Oh no, I thought I had it in here, but I don't have it in here. What, what do I have in here now? This is not empty, because I just, uh, the Pineapple and Fuego <gasps> from last year. Oh my God, Pineapple and Fuego in the pods is fantastic. Anyway, Amazon Rain is finished. I don't know where the other one is. Um, I have the other one of this. Which one is this? Happy Holidays. Oh my God, I hated this. I thought I loved it. It's so strong. The other one is in my car right now and it's kind of exhausted. So it's like, okay, I have to change up. Happy holidays. It's, I thought I liked it, but I don't. It's a little too dirty. I usually like dirty things. It's got like a, a holly, like a Christmassy thing, but it's also got a gritty dirt smell to it. It's very earthy. Um, what is that? Vanilla mint? Vanilla mint in the pods is fantastic. This is really good for the mask freshening system also. Vanilla mint is great. It's vanilla and mint. Okay. Um, feeling pine. I liked feeling pine better than happy holidays. Holly days. And I think that that goes against what I was saying about a year ago. I think I was liking happy holidays more than feeling pine. They're Christmassy, so that's why it's kind of like you can use it in the car, but you don't want to fragrance your house like it's, you know, Christmas Eve or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, sheer leather. This was too leathery for me. I would never use uh, weathered leather in the car. It's just too much. When we bought our car, it was new. And uh, was first new car, that was five years ago. Um, and my husband was vegan at the time. 
and he didn't like the car to smell like leather. So we actually used a lot of Scentsy at that time, but we didn't use weathered leather or sheer leather. We used like Blue Grotto or shit like that, right? Okay, I don't know where the pods are for this. I think I might've just thrown them away out of frustration, out of anger. Marvel Nine Realms and the pods. No, didn't like this at all. This says blue tea and lavender lightning, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, this in the wax is fantastic. So I thought I was gonna love the pods. They were non-existent. I didn't get any action out of these pods at all. Um, I got frustrated and I think I threw the pods away. Bright Cider Life. Mm -mm. No, 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 I thought I was gonna love this. This smells like cinnamon baking or something to me. Yes, there's apple. Yeah, it's, it's cider-y. So strong. I used one of them. One, in my car, you would turn it on. The second you turn it on, the whole car was full of this fragrance. Now, I'm not into the bakery stuff. This is way too bakery for me. You think Bright Cider Life is not going to be bakery? It was very bakery. I didn't like it at all. No. So those are actually perfectly good pods, and I'm going to throw them away because I can't sell them because I've already used one of them for like an hour or something like that. It's fine. Um... Pineapple and Fuego, this is the container of this. I am gonna go ahead and throw that away just so I don't have to hold on to it. I have both of those in my Scentsy Go solid right now. Fantastic, if you can get a hold of it, get it. <clears throat> Pineapple works really well in the pods, just so you know. Is this sugar? This is sugar. And this is Just Breathe, and I used to combine this. The Scentsy Go, unlike the mini fan diffuser, it can take two pods. If you want lighter fragrance, just use one. But if you want to really, you, if you want your fragrance to kick you in the face and kick you out of the house, use both. And mixing sugar with Just Breathe was fantastic. Sugar is lemon drops and cotton candy. It's like a perfumey kind of a cotton candy. And Just Breathe, like I said, is like lemon and mint. And this together was like um, baseball card bubble gum. <sighs> Doesn't smell like anything now. Completely exhausted. I loved this and the Scentsy go together. Loved it. If you can get a hold of sugar, do that. All right, are we moving on to wax? We're moving on to wax. I need to blot though, hold on. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but like the lighting in here went like half. And we're about to have a storm. I'm getting uh, notifications on my phone. All right, I'm just gonna plow through this. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 empty wax shelves. In no particular order, and I'm not giving you scent notes. Faithful friends, if any of these sound like you might want them or you want to know what the notes are, go to Google, type in Scentsy, S-C-E-N-T-S-Y, and then the fragrance. I love it when people go into all the director groups and the consultant groups and they're like, what does this fragrance sound like? Do you not have fucking Google? Faithful Friends was not jazzed about this whatsoever. Thought I was going to love it. It's kind of floral. It was really light. I didn't even bother with the scent packs. I got two of these. I went warm through one. The other one is sitting in my stash. I'll sell it to somebody who loves Lady and the Tramp. Beautiful artwork, but mm, whatever. Mandalorian. I'm one of the very few people who like this fragrance. I actually love this fragrance. I stocked up on it when it was available. And I think it just recently sold out. I'm not sure. It was on my website now as of last week, but I don't know. It might, it might have sold out because I know that the dark side of the force sold out and the light side of the force sold out. This might still be there. Go to metallicmom.com, type Mandalorian and see if you can find it. I love it. I have no idea what the notes are. Okay, uh, Fiji Flower. This was okay. I mixed it. It was okay. Heavy, heavy floral. If you don't like flowers, don't go anywhere near this shit. Don't. I didn't buy this in anything else. I just bought this in the wax. The Summer Collection, while it's great, I didn't really need all of the products. I thought I was gonna buy them just because I wanted them. 
But you know what, as a Scentsy Consultant, and I've probably said that phrase as a Scentsy Consultant 17 times in this video, sorry. As a Scentsy Consultant, we have a tendency to, you know, fall into that trap of FOMO, like fear of missing out kind of thing. You log into social media and you see this picture of some friends at a party. Scroll down and here's a video of a friend cliff diving in Cancun. A number of friends are talking about Garden Cop and you haven't seen it yet. And now you start feeling something called FOMO, or fear of missing out. FOMO is the anxiety we experience when we feel there's something exciting happening elsewhere and we're not a part of it. It's been around for a long time, but these days it's triggered mostly by posts on social media. Listen, as long as I get the wax and I can experience the wax, I'm happy. Fiji flower is really flowery. I like flowers though, but it wasn't unique enough for me at all. Um, Berry of Paradise. I think I have two of these in here. I'm not sure. I'm not going to bother looking through them. I love Berry of Paradise. It has Bird of Paradise and Raspberry. It's in my Scentsy Club. I absolutely love it. I posted about this in the official director, uh, the official Scentsy Directors group on Facebook. And I said, does anybody else still absolutely love this fragrance? And half of the people were like, yeah. And half of the people were like, ew. I don't understand what the ew could be. This is a fantastic wax super duper strong and you can mix it with stuff too great summer soleil i poo pooed this and now i just went through the entire bar absolutely love summer soleil it might go into my scentsy club it's available right now only through the month of june or while supplies last so if you think that you might like this go ahead and get it and then put it in your scentsy if you, even if you don't want to buy it right now put it in your scentsy club so that the next time your scentsy club is going to process you will be enrolled in the Always Get My Bar program and then you can make that decision at a later date. You can get one of these delivered and then take it out of your Scentsy Club. That's what I do. I put all the fragrances into my Scentsy Club, every single one, before I even tried them. And then as I warm through them, I decide, is it gonna stay or is it gonna go? That's what I do. Southern Evening, this was perfect in my kids' rooms. Southern Evening is very, um, very good at covering up body odor. It's very masculine. It's a very, very dark blue wax. It was very juicy. Uh, there was a lot of oils going on in there. Um, but this is very good for a teenage boy's room. It's, it's good for a lot of other people too. Very good at covering smoke smell. Um, like I said, body odor, pet odors, that kind of thing. Not available, sorry. Petal Pals. I had to mix this. I think I mixed it with Berry Paradise actually. <laughs> Did not like Petal Pals. Very floral. I liked Fiji flower better than that, but oh, Petal Pals just sat wrong with me. Like I said, the light side of the force. Come on. Ooh, there we go. No, no, it's not gonna focus. That's all right, fine, whatever. I don't know what the scent notes are. I like light side of the force a lot. Um, Bubblegum Blast, this was a waste of fucking time. This smelled like nothing when I warmed it. Nothing. I put two cubes in, an hour later, smelled nothing. I put a third cube in there, an hour later, smelled nothing. This was an older bar though, look how juicy. It was older, I think that you can't, like I said, these things aren't supposed to sit around for three years. And I think this was about three years old, so there you go. Okay, I gotta get moving because my kid's gonna come home soon because it's about to rain. So anyway, uh, Citrus Garden. This is, it's a shame that this isn't available anymore. This was a honking mess. I had to take a shower every time I put a couple of cubes into my warmer because the oils just went everywhere. Citrus Garden was very strong, very citrusy, very good at cleaning smells. Like I said earlier about clothesline, you use it after you cook, like meat and stuff like that. Citrus Garden is great, but it's not available anymore. Simply Rose. Simply Rose mixed with sugar. I've said it a thousand times. Give it a shot. Simply Rose mixed with anything that's a little too sweet. Mixed with Berry of Paradise is fantastic. Oh my God. You could do sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream, but I would do two to one. Simply Rose is super strong. So you would need two of the other one and then only one of these in order to make the mix right. Hi, man. I'm making a video, okay? I'll be done in 10 minutes. Okay, pink cotton is very nice. Pink cotton comes in uh, the laundry lines, which is really nice. Um, 
It's similar to sugar. It's a, got a slight, just a little bit more linen than the sugar fragrance. Imagine clothesline and sugar mixed together, you're gonna get pink cotton, which is nice. Pink cotton is nice in the pods. Am I talking out my ass? I might be talking out my ass, I'm not sure. Uh, I did not warm this though. I sampled this out to my customers. There's gonna be a couple in here that, I've, that I didn't actually warm. I sampled them out. And what I mean sampling it out is, is that if you're lucky enough to be local to me, when I bring you your Scentsy order, because it comes to me and then I make sure that everything is pretty and nice, and then I bring you your Scentsy order, I actually give you full cubes of different fragrances that you can try. And it's not just a little felt sample that you're smelling and saying, okay, I want my whole house to smell like that. You don't know that, unless you actually put the shit in the warmer. Anyway, this is the Ariel, oh my God, the Ariel fragrance, the Sebastian fragrance from Little Mermaid. I don't remember the name. It was okay. It was better than Faithful Friends. The Lady in the Tramp Wax was ridiculous. Um, Honeymoon Hideaway sampled it out. This is available only right now, only through the month of, no, did I, no, I did warm it once. I did warm two cubes and then I sampled out the other six. Honeymoon Hideaway is available only during the month of June. As you can see, it's got that little Bring Back My Bar sticker there. Um, I knew that people were gonna want this. Uh, there are people that have been dying for Honeymoon Hideaway. A ton of my customers have put Honeymoon Hideaway into their Scentsy Club now so that they get it forever and ever, amen, through the Always Get My Bar program. Uh, Rustic Lodge, I warmed and then I'm done with this. Took it out of my Scentsy Club and I think I either sold my last bar or I have one bar left. Very Rustic Lodge-ish. If you could imagine what Rustic Lodge would smell like, it smells like a log cabin, but not like a fire. It does have a little bit of campfire scent in there, but it's not like a full-blown campfire smell. It's almost got a little bit of leather, a little bit of campfire, but more about the wood and the cedar than the ashes. Rustic Lodge is fantastic. Okay. Um, Palm Beach Breeze. This is still in my Scentsy Club, I think. This is from the summer collection two years ago. I absolutely love Palm Beach Breeze in the wax. It's not in my wheelhouse. It's not normal for me to like this so much, but I do like it. And look, this one was actually broken. There's no tab on this. <laughs> so Palm Beach Breeze is great. Um, Appealing Apple is the scent of the month right now. 10% off right now, only $5.40 for a bar of this. Um, Appealing Apple is apple and pear and, wow, something else. I don't remember what the other thing is, rhubarb? I don't remember what the other thing was. It's an apple -y fragrance. If you're familiar with Johnny Appleseed, which by the way, I'm using Johnny Appleseed in the counter clean right now. If you're familiar with Johnny Appleseed, it's a little similar to that, but just a little bit more sweet, a little bit more candy-like, okay? Uh, Welcome Summer, again. Look. <laughs> Welcome Summer was from last year. Not my favorite. Um, it was floral with maybe a little bit of lemon, but n no sweetness, more like lemon pith, but with the floral to sort of round it out, but it needed some sweetness or something. There was something in Welcome Summer that I didn't really like. I think that it was supposed to have pineapple and it didn't have enough for me or something. I'm totally talking out my ass, I don't remember. Anyway, last but not least, sugar, which I always mix with Simply Rose, or Just Breathe or a lot of other things. Things that are too floral, I mix with sugar. Things that are too sweet, I mix with Simply Rose, okay? That's it, okay. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. Please hit the like button, the thumbs up thing. And now the phone's ringing. Please subscribe, please go to metallicmom.com. I'll talk to you later.